Welcome back to more Genshin Impact. It's been a good minute since I've done a Genshin stream. Still play Genshin every day, though. I do not think I could function if I did not play Genshin every day at this point. Anyway, nothing has really changed since uh, the last time we streamed. Um, this is what we're going to be doing today. I don't know how much of this event is available to us right now. We'll find out. Um, still trying to get artifacts for Navia. Still not really going well. I think I only have one for her that I'm content with. And it is this one. It's not ideal, but it's passable. I think the overall crit value is in the 30s, if I can math correctly, but still could definitely be better. Especially because I don't feel like I really need energy recharge since I'm going with an energy recharge weapon for her. Whatever. That'll work itself out eventually. Or it won't, and I'll just be sad. But anyway, moving along. Let's start with the bed. Oh, I get a recipe for this. That's nice. Um, the crack of muskets breaking the silence. Sure. Conveniently add a teleporter. Thank you. Seriously? But, Mr. Morris, I don't understand, sir. How could you only be telling me this now? <sighs> I'm afraid that there's nothing really I can do. I'm really facing a crisis. My hands are tied. But what about my film? Well, yes, I'm what about you have to his come film? Up with something on your own. Take it from me. Sometimes you just have to Take let it things out for go. yourself. Same goes for this film festival. Oh, oh. Hey, isn't that Xavier? So he's back in Fontaine now. Am I supposed oh, to recognize this guy? If it isn't the dear traveler and Paimon, I really didn't expect to bump into you here at this time. It's been a while? Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible news just now. Oh, there's Chevros the in the background. The investor I was working with for my upcoming film has fallen upon some hard times and is no longer able to provide the promised amount of funds. Can't you just find a different investor? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival, stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is finished. I feel like that contract should be null and void if the original investor is no longer able to provide the stipulated funds. You should be able to work with whoever you want if they don't give you the money they're supposed to. The Fontanalia Film Festival? What's that? Oh, is this your first time participating in Fontaine's Fontanalia Film Festival? Then allow me to fill you in. The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Lock Knights, who went on a quest to search for Lock the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. But what's with that weird expression on your face? It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Ah, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In order to avoid any, uh unnecessary arguments over semantics. <laughs> I usually try to recite things straight from the source. Well, either way, I'm a big good habit to follow, I guess. It's just like the Windbloom Festival in Mondstadt and the Lantern Rite in Lilith. 
Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? And just like those of other nations, Fontaine will hold a plethora of events around this time each year. To commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special costumes, raising golden cups, and going door to door asking for pure water. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea a little drab, and so decided to change the part about pure water to sweets. That really doesn't surprise Paimon at all. The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and it's quite popular among the kids. Every year, you can hear a bunch of them saying, trial or treat. So this is essentially Halloween, but it's about court trials instead of, I don't know, Halloween-y things like spirits and stuff. Interesting. Oh, that sounds pretty fun. But how does that connect back to the film festival you mentioned? Ah, yes, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> I just got too excited after seeing you. Let me get back to the point. The Fontanalia Film Festival <gasps> is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film technology has matured as a medium, it's the perfect time to introduce more people to the art form. During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. Farina the Award. What award? The Farina Award. You know, after the Hydro Archon. I do, in fact, know her. Lady Farina was still in power, but uh, even though things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. I think I'd rather Perhaps have a Nivea still award. Thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Just saying. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines on the stage. Huh. All right. Guess the name does work pretty well when you put it that way. She did spend her oh, whole who life guess there'd be an issue acting, with the funding. pretty much. How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? Not to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Chiori? Uh, sounds familiar. Where have we heard that name before? Uh, Chioria Boutique. Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direction, including the design of the actors' costumes and appearances. Oh, Paima remembers now. Nadia said that her clothes were designed by Chiori. And Kirara's outfit, too! How to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct. She made Kirara herself it? forceful when it comes to dealing with people. The fashion world in Fontaine has dubbed her the Thundering Seamstress. Her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Inazuma. Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Without her help, I don't think I would have been able to get such an international cast for the film. She really is a kind soul. Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome them? Sure. I'm Judging down. from the time, the Aquabus should be arriving shortly. Chiori will be waiting to meet me there as well. I haven't really looked into Chiori at all. I'm very interested to see what her vision is going to be. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> I like it. Well, let's do this, I guess. Oh, no, these are these are all the um specific like mini games, I guess, for the event. I want to continue the main story of the event, though. I get to this. Melusine. The arrival of A Aquabus Station. 
I think I get to that from up here? No. Maybe. What is this? Joyous gift. I want to sort. What is this going to do? Energy recharge. Oh. I was hoping it would magically be a crit weapon. Attack increased by 12%. That's not all. The support from all Melusines you've helped in Marcy Village fills you with strength. Based on the number of them you've helped, your attack is increased by up to an additional 12%. Okay, that's interesting. A weapon that encourages you to have done the world quests. That's very intriguing. Okay. That's very interesting. Ultimate Overlord's Mega Magic Sword. I really enjoy that name. That's kind of fantastic. Uh, event shop, what all will be able to get? Stuff that I'm sure I need. Or will need. What's this? Complete prerequisite quest to unlock. Okay, so none of them say they're locked by time, so we might actually be able to do the whole event today. Depending, of course, on how long the event is. Oh, I wanted to look at Ayaka specifically. A blade embraces its duty. Every um, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. Clothing option has a little little blurb about it. And I think they said this was made by Chiori. At least I think that's what they said in the the live for this version, but I don't don't quote me. Ayaka's travel outfit. Its design is based on the Fontaine dresses depicted in light novel illustrations and seems to serve as a window into the lifestyle of proper ladies who live in that nation. I'm pretty sure this was made by Chiori. It's really pretty nonetheless. I just wish they had updated her fan for her idol animations. A blade embraces for this outfit. Duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. But hold on, let's look at... Surely I have a cute outfit. Right? Maybe? I do. I do. Oh, this is made by Chiori. Interesting. I did not know that. Kirara's outfit. The famous designer Chiori followed the principle of comfortably wearing a beautiful flower upon one's body when creating this outfit for Kirara. That's interesting. Okay. Very excited for Chiori. I'm pretty sure I saw something online that some people had named their Scaramouche Chiori and they had to change his name because he can't be he can't share the name of any playable character. I'm just gonna have to hope that they never make a character that has my Scarmouche's name. Or I'll be really sad. Uh do I need the second floor? Or do I need the first floor? Okay, I need this floor. That outfit is so pretty. Um, those shoes? How? Love the gloves. Where's your vision? Uh, Miss Chiori? <sighs> your talk with the investor sure went fast. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived yet. Oh? And who are they? Ah, uh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Pleased to meet you. She's Geo. Okay. Her coloring is very Geo. The way Navia's wardrobe comes together is really exceptional. Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her high social station as the Demoiselle. So tell me, what happened? I can tell the conversation didn't go quite as expected. 
presumably she's going to be a five star. It'd be weird if she wasn't. So on the assumption that she's going to be a five star, that's going to be the second five star Geo character to come out of Inazuma. And yet Liyue, the Geo country, only has one. No, it just has Zhongli. Because what are the other options? It's just Zhongli, Albedo, and Ito, and Navia. That's so weird. We need more Liyue characters. Ah, well, it's like this. <sighs> I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice as much as the others. And therein lies the problem. Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film. The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of Mora, so... Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. Yeah, how much you need? I've got 42 million. Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. I'm afraid that any Mora we can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the actor's fees. We Although I think I spent... On. What's happened At least has one million happened, yesterday. No changing it. When I was leveling up but characters. But now's not the time to give up. What? You're saying that you have a plan? No, that's not what I mean. I'm simply saying I wouldn't give up just yet. The actors I recommended aren't just after Mora after all. Ayato, what you doing? Really? Then where do you live? We Malazines live in Marisi Village. The only way to enter is from underwater. Oh, you must be pretty tired after work every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go home. You're so thoughtful. But some Malazines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. I love your wings. They're so cute. And this is our stop. Oh, we've arrived, but I haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. I also enjoyed Abel's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and detailed that we can't help but want to hear more. Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this aqua bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Join me, I can Welcome befriend literally Fontaine. anyone and anything. <sighs> Chiori, you sure have changed a lot. This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. Ugh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said you had access to the Is it just me? Or does Ayato sound a little different? Oh? It's the Traveler and Paimon. Wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were just talking about you on the way here. Are you also here for the film? We just ran into Davia earlier and came over with him. <laughs> but I'm not an actress. Sir Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time together. I thought I would always get the lead role. Uh, about that. I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? I figured you were probably busy and I You're not didn't wrong. want to disturb you. So, I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought other actors to play the lead roles in the film. <laughs> I've been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here, but you still managed to surprise me first. 
I wonder if we'll ever get another Inazuma update. Maybe there's somehow another island down there. Who knows? Oh, so you all know each other already. <laughs> My, what a coincidence. The Traveler knows the everyone. Everyone could be brought together here like this. Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up over a meal? I've already made a reservation. Huh? Did you reserve two spots for us, too? Yes, of course, of course. I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve a few more delicious dishes just to make sure there'll be enough food. Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. He really sounds different to me. Wow! The buildings in Fontaine are so tall! Just look at how big they are! And there's the fountain that Abel mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent sight. And look at that huge spinning sphere! Where does it get its power? <gasps> Wait a sec! Could it be one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about? Go to Hotel de Board, second floor. Okay. Um, where's Hotel de Board? <laughs> Teleport me. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> 